up and all the goats were laying down and Glenda was sleeping hard. Usually she's the one that's screaming before we even get pulled up here all the way. So funny. Happy goats. Oh, Bina just went in the chicken house. Good morning guys. I am getting ready to edit a video so that's the video you're going to be seeing now. That's the video you're going to be seeing right now and it's actually four days old. I apologize but I was face painting all weekend and things were busy so it's a little bit old but that's okay. So today just for this morning the rain is clear. It's so saturated and wet and the grass and everything but I'm going to see what I can get done in the garden this morning. Good morning from Providence Farmstead. We are out in the garden. It is hot and humid. Actually, it's not even that hot. It's just extremely humid. And uh, it's rain free for a little while. I don't know that I'll get any planting done, but I do need to do some tomato work. So I'm gonna bring you along. I am actually tying up tomatoes this morning. The sun is horribly bright. It is so humid. We have a little bit of rain free time for a couple of hours this morning. And I definitely wanted to get these tied up. And, um, in addition to that, I'm going through and pruning, and I wanted to show you what I'm pruning because this is actually a big problem for a lot of people right now, and I've seen a lot of people asking about it on Facebook. So, if you look here, here's some I've pruned, and actually I put these in the, uh, I burn these because these are diseased tomato leaves, and if you leave these on, it will spread to the rest of your plant and kill your plant. So you can see they're yellow brownish spots, and this is very common whenever you expect, whenever you have a lot of wet weather, especially towards the bottom. And this is why you keep your tomatoes pruned along the bottom, is to avoid problems like this. So I will be pruning all of these out today, but while I was getting ready to tie up this tomato down here, Look what I found. Um, you probably won't even be able to see it. But that is hornworm poop <laughs> on there. And uh, I don't really see the damage on the tomato yet, but it's going to be here someplace. So I'm going to be spending some time looking for that. I think it's going to be raining tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to get out here with a black light. We're starting to get some hornworm. I don't see the damage, but it's here somewhere. <laughs> else I can show you that I've seen a few people ask about on Facebook. Um, if you look down here, along the, the stalk here, there are little white nodules coming out of there. Those are roots actually. A tomato will actually root along its whole plant. So those little white nodules are actually roots. These are potential roots here. And basically the little hairs that you see on a tomato plant are all potential roots. So if it's tomato would fall over, it would just root where it is. Back in from doing tomatoes and I'm literally dripping sweat guys. It is so humid. Time to take the tractor in to be fixed. Pretty well got here almost just in time. It just started raining, so I guess I won't be doing any filming of the tractor unloading. It takes us about an hour and 20 minutes to get up here, so I don't know how long it'll take to get it fixed. We shall see. Hopefully it's fairly soon since we have nothing we can bush hog with now. Um, you know, when you have a farm the size of ours, a bush hog is really handy. It's just barely sprinkling right now. So there's a tractor. Hopefully they'll get it put inside because we don't have the fenders and everything on it. And we don't want the manifold to get wet. Saw your Ryan was our riding buddy today. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs> he's about to lose his tooth. And he's going to be missing his two front teeth. Too bad it's not Christmas time. We just got back from taking the tractor and Matt decided to bring a friend inside with him. A chicken friend. A chicken friend. You know, I have a hard enough time with him trying to walk in the back door all the time. I don't think you bringing him in is going to help. I'm making sure I'll fit in a pot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> His board's almost broke off. Here we go again. Yeah. Harvested a red cabbage, but I have a cabbage monster. <laughs> Not enough growing in our garden, but heck, we can harvest some cabbage. So I desperately need to do a garden tour, even though my garden is literally 
at best half the size it usually is by this time of year. But that'll have to wait for another day. But I do want to show you real quick, I found my first hornworm of the year. He's going to be protein for chickens, but I was going to show you. There he is, guys. Ugly booger, huh? Mm. Where there's one, there's probably more. Started digging up the potatoes a little bit. Of course, you know, they're almost all rotten. We might get two or three mils of potatoes this year. I might see about planting a fall crop of potatoes. I've never done that before. Still don't have beans in. Literally a uh, bad time for beans because beans don't like to be wet. So don't know when I'm gonna get those planted. Plus I still have all those things that need to be transplanted that keep soaking up water up there. The plan today was to go ahead and get the goat pen moved just over to the side. <laughs> I'm so goofy, I wasn't thinking. The boys let the chickens out. So that's not going to happen. And the thing is, it's supposed to be storming tomorrow because usually we do it before we let the chickens out in the morning. I don't know what we're going to do because it needed to be moved. So more than likely I'll be moving it in a storm tomorrow, which is not going to be fun. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. And I'm sorry that this tomato footage is so old, um, but that's the way it is. I'm hoping that the rain will hold off, but I know it won't. And maybe I can get something done. Maybe at least this morning, right? Have a wonderful, blessed week, guys, and stay dry. Oh.